Hello everyone, it's Hannah from Hannah Crafted Gifts and I'm here with part two of my second workshop order, the first order of the new catalog for 2018-2019. So we're gonna see what else myself and my customers got this time around. All right, this is most of it. If you watch my part one video, just a few things that I needed that were time sensitive and a few things I added just to get to that $70 minimum so we'd pay 10% shipping. All right, so first of all, it looks like the heirloom frames dies. Now I had heard these were on back order, but it looks like maybe they slipped them in there for me. That's exciting. Someone ordered the woven thread suite, which these are a part of. So I'm surprised and excited to see those. Let's see what else we got. The sti stitched shapes dies. That's a bit of a tongue twister. This is mine. I'm really excited about these. This comes with, I think, ovals, circles, and squares, um, which are going to be great for sentiments and for backgrounds. All right. This was for one of my customers. She actually got both of the vase sets, so we'll see the other one here too. But this is the Vibrant Vases Photopolymer Stamp Set. So again, those are the clear stamps that allow you to get really precise placement. Beautiful set. You can see there's outlines and then shaded stamps to basically color those in so that you don't have to use coloring tools like watercolor pencils or um, stamping blends. This is the Sweet Silhouettes dies. So this is from another one of our sweets. Um, the Sweet Silhouette Suite, <laughs> or something like that it's called. Um, this is for another customer. And here's that other vases set I was telling you about. So this is the Varied Vases, which you can see again has outlines and images to color in, um, as well as images to color in but with designs. And this is another photopolymer or clear stamp set. So those are going to go really well together. She's going to have a lot of uh, vases to choose from. All right, so this is actually what she got with her rewards. That same customer ordered this little piggy, the cling stamp set this time. So these are the red rubber that stick really well to the blocks that Stampin' Up! just created. Um, you can see this has a lot of puns, which I love. Hogs and kisses. She believed she could with the pig flying. Cute. Stampin' Up! does a lot of cartoon animals with puns. All right, so this is that silhouette scenes that I am guessing goes with that sweet silhouettes dies set. Um, so you can see it's silhouettes of people and some great sentiments to go along with that. Together is the perfect place to be, that's so sweet. I love the Thoreau quote, go confidently in the direction of your dreams, Thoreau. Some good ones. And this, let's see, this is also cling. Okay. All right, so some accessories. We actually had these in the first order and I couldn't figure out which way to hold them. And I can't again. <laughs> these are the classic garage metal elements. Again, those are, um, wrenches and keys, as you can see there. Those have been popular. This is from the Woven Threads suite. So it's the Woven Threads trim. And I've actually heard that you can cut off the string that holds these tassels together and just have the tassels hang down. So you can see that would be the bottom with the tassels hanging and that would be the top. Really cute. Goes with that Woven Threads suite. This also goes with the Woven Threads suite. So these are the Woven Threads sequin assortment. You can see lots of bright iridescent colors in there. Let's see if you can get some of the shine. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me there. All right, this is for me. I'm so excited about this. I could not resist. This is the Pressed Petals Specialty Washi Tape. And this comes with more of a standard washi tape. You can see it's like a vintage, um, almost like text. But then this is washi tape that as you peel it off, it becomes petals. You can see each individual petal and you can create flowers. I am so excited to try that. Those with that pressed petals suite and you can actually see the paper, we're getting to that. All right, this, oh, sorry about the finger in the frame there. This is the black Stampin' Embossed Powder. My customer asked which color embossed powder would be a good one to start with. And she chose the black um, since that can emboss almost anything and go with almost any card. All right, this is another punch for me. You might remember from the other video, I got the circle punch because that is one part of what you need to make the lock box that was in my post a couple posts ago, um, the birds by bird post on my blog. This is the other piece you need. This creates the slider, and then the circle punch creates circles that go on the top and bottom of the slider with a dimensional in between, and that creates your lock. Um, you can check out that post for more details on that. But this will also be great. This is the classic label punch. It'll be great for banners for cards, um, especially with the itty bitty uh, sentiment stamp set. Those should fit in there just just right. All right, another stamp set. This one is the Woven Heirloom. So again, part of that Woven Thread Suite. Um, this one, I love the backgrounds it comes with. That one at the bottom is gonna be great for backgrounds. And this is the Cling. 
once again. And then this is that pressed petal specialty designer series paper. This is for me and you can see it's photo images or hopefully you can see it's photo images of actual um, dried pressed flowers. So there's lots of beautiful pages in this. Let's get the right name. The pressed petal specialty designer series paper. This is just one of them but that is one of my favorites. It has burlap background, wood background. Someone ordered the bird ballad paper, which I used for that Birds by Bird um, project again. You can see that in my blog post a couple posts ago. Beautiful paper, kind of a watercolor effect, the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper. Lots of birds, but also flowers, and also just some um, textured, or rather patterned images, like dots and stripes and so on. And then this is the Woven Threads Designer Series paper. Let me make sure I'm getting that name right. Yes. And so this is the last part of that suite that my customer ordered. Um, again, there were dies and embossing folders. It looked like we got the dies, which I wasn't expecting, um, but the embossing folders must be the part that's on back order. So those create like a frame, um, an embossed vintage style frame, um, which are really beautiful. I'm actually hoping to get those soon too. So this is the paper that goes with that suite. So, oh, I thought that was everything, but I forgot. So I know that I'm gonna wanna invest in the Stampin' Blends. Um, so I went ahead on Faith and got the Stampin' Bloods Color Lifter before I had any of the colors. <laughs> so Stampin' Bloods are like an alcohol ink marker that you use to color in your images, and like the name suggests, they blend really well. But you can use this color lifter to blend even more and to take some of that color away. So if it goes on a little dark, they do have a light and dark version of each of the colors they sell. Uh, for the most part, there's a few that they just have one uh, shade in. But then you can use this to create almost a third shade of a lighter version of the light. Um, and again, it helps blend them all together. So I bought this knowing that I'm buying more. <laughs> so that's all. Now we have an empty box. Thank you all so much. I know this was a longer video than usual, but thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, please like it below. Feel free to comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, you can also subscribe to my channel for more unboxing videos. And I will hope to see you again soon. Bye.